Hi everybody, my name is Richard Battle Baxter and I'm a second year MBA student at Johnson at Cornell University. Today I want to talk to you guys about my GMAT and MBA admissions process. So for me, the GMAT was a grueling process. I ended up taking it three times over the course of a year. Uh, I worked with a tutor, I also took different GMAT classes, um, and it was a main sense of worry for me going through the process. Um, looking back, there were two things that really helped me get through it. Um, one was that I had an incredible support network of family and friends. They were able to basically remind me as to why I was doing this um, through the times when I'd be frustrated after, say, a practice exam. Um, the other thing that really helped me was having incredible discipline. I knew that I had to carve out certain times throughout the week that I would dedicate to studying. But then I also knew that I had to make time for myself. Um, otherwise, I would go crazy if I didn't do that. Taking that to admissions, I knew that my quant score wasn't the highest, um, but I knew that I would be able to basically mitigate that weakness in my application through my essays, and also I spoke to my recommenders about it and had them kind of kind of play it up. Um, basically, I was able to show that I needed to get in front of the admissions committee again, personally. I tend to think that I'm a pretty, pretty good interviewer face-to-face, and I knew that I'd be able to explain the qualities that I would bring to the table if I were admitted to uh, the business school program. So that's how I looked at it. Um, I, w I, I wish I would have scored, you know, the 750, but I didn't. So I basically took, took what I got and tried to figure out how I can use that to my advantage and play that up. So I wish everybody else out there good luck. And just know that the GMAT is only one, one, one point of your application.